here are the initial steps for the atmospheric data lab to convert the raw data from this to the report ready representation like this. This video is not meant for you to merely copy, but is just here to guide you through the steps that you will then practice on your own for the entirety of the data set. Remember also that after completing the tables and graphs, you will still be required to create the representative diagram that will illustrate your analysis. The demonstration will be conducted for the data for LS185 for latitude versus average surface temperature. The first row of numbers corresponds to the first row of variables. In this case, latitude. The second row of numbers corresponds to the second row of variables, in this case, surface temperature. In your spreadsheet, you enter these as columns. You can copy this over by highlighting and pressing Ctrl C or Command C on Apple and pasting into a document with Ctrl V. You can add the table lines using table properties, borders, and shading, all. Remember, you must give your table a descriptive caption.
to make the graph highlight the numbers insert charts scatter dots only click on chart design quick layout first one because you are only plotting one series you do not need a legend change the titles appropriately we have some cleanup work to do as we need to tell the graph what are the ranges required? Click on a number, any of the numbers on the horizontal axis. Right click and select Format Axis. Check that the required range is set for the axis. Here is where you can move the vertical axis to the left. Under vertical axis crosses, click axis value and select your minimum value. For the vertical axis, click on a number. If the axis option does not come up, right click format access and enter the values specified in the instruction. These scalings will be important once we get to the graph analysis and comparing the values between the two times. If you are performing the calculations and graphing in Google Sheets, the graphing portion will be different. In Google Sheets, highlight both the numbers and the column headers. Insert, Chart. If Google Sheets doesn't automatically recognize, check that the chart type is Scatter. Customize. Change the chart title as necessary by clicking on Chart and Access Titles. Horizontal Access.
enter the values from the instructions. Vertical axis. Again, enter the exact values from the instructions. As before, copy this back into a document for your lab report. Remember, you are required to repeat the same procedure for four sets of data. The first set is the one that was just demonstrated. You will also need to construct a table and graph for optical depth versus latitude at LS185 and make sure it is scaled properly for optical depths as instructed. Then repeat for surface temperatures at LS215 and optical depths also at LS215. Your ultimate goal will be to construct a diagram demonstrating your understanding of the physics between dust optical depth and surface temperatures. In preparation for that analysis, you will need to review the relationship between surface temperatures and reflectivity. Keep in mind that reflectivity may not just be that of the ground, but also what is in the atmosphere. In this lab, dust is in the atmosphere. 